What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Sticks. I am officially back. Um, even though I didn't really go anywhere. Uh, so, to, to crush some rumors. No, I did not die. <laughs> no, I did not blow up my account. Uh, no, I did not quit trading. This is what happened. As some of you know, I love motorcycles. I was out riding, and this is, again, it's just a theory. It's, it's a hypothesis that's going on in my head as to what happened. But I was out riding uh, for like 35 minutes on my way back home from riding my motorcycle. I got soaked, drenched. I wasn't wearing proper gear. It was cold because I do like to ride in all seasons, summer, winter, whatever. Uh, but it, it, it was super cold. And, of course, being soaked and wet, it didn't help any. Um, anyway, once I got home, I was like that for like 35 minutes, uh, just soaked, uh, in writing. And when I got home the following day, I woke up with a very, very bad, it was just sore throat. Like my throat was just aching. Um, anyhow, I, I woke up, I was coughing. This happened, this continued for like a week. And in fact, on some of my older videos and even some of my streams, actually this continued for several weeks. Uh, you can see that I've been coughing and I kept saying how sick I was. Anyway, I finally broke down, went to the doctor. Turns out I had a very bad upper respiratory infection. I got some antibiotics. I got a little better. I think I even mentioned that in one of my videos that I was feeling a little better. And then I started getting, I started just feeling completely sick, uh, fevers. It was just horrible, wheezing, coughing a lot. Um, I was like that for a while again. And then finally I was like, okay, this is getting worse. On top of that, allergies were just on like, a hundred percent just straight allergies hit me so hard it just didn't help any finally i broke down went back to the doctor and told him hey i feel so much worse uh what's going on i had some chest x-rays done turned out i had pneumonia um and i couldn't even speak without coughing if you're on the if you're part of the discord channel and you actually listen to me trade in the mornings along with sorab chartslinger and some other people uh, you would hear me cough and I'd have to, like, I would speak, I would be like mid sentence and all of a sudden I'll start coughing. Anyway, it got to the point where I just couldn't do anything. I couldn't even, I couldn't, um, stream. I couldn't, uh, record anything. Cause I just couldn't speak without coughing. It was terrible. Um, but anyway, so I decided to, you know what, just take, take a break, uh, get back healthy again. And that's what I did. I actually didn't trade for like a week. I've been trading on and off very conservatively. Um, I haven't traded in, in, in really a large amount in a while. Um, today was one of the few days where I actually took a trade, even though I was really busy in the morning, I took a trade right at the open and then just, you know, and called it quits. I had to go do stuff, um, which I'm going to go over in just a little bit, but yeah, so that's, that's what happened. I didn't die and I did not blow my account. Uh, my $2,500 account challenge is still sitting there. I did trade on that one a few times while I wasn't. Well, I wasn't streaming or I, was, I wasn't I uh, was doing any YouTube videos. Uh, it went from 2,500. I have it at 2,800, I think now. Yeah, 2,800 something. Anyway. Um, yeah. So that's, 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 that's it. That's the reason why I've been so sick uh, or why I've been absent. Nothing crazy. Just, just trying to take care of myself. Um, now, Having gone through that, <laughs> I will be doing better. I will be taking care of myself, and I shouldn't be absent anymore for like like that at least. Um, another thing is uh, I want to update on what the channel. There's going to be some changes to the YouTube channel. I know I only have 32 followers and all that, and I barely have any views. I just started the damn channel, so everyone take a chill pill. <laughs> Um, cause I've been getting messages like, man, your YouTube sucks. I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure no one started with thousands of followers, so it's all right. Um, so yeah, so from now on, the channel is going to be focused more on just daily life. Like what my life is like on a day to day basis, sort of still going to be putting out these trades. It's in fact going to get even more in depth as to what the hell I'm doing and how I'm making money. Um, it's going to get into more, I'm also going to have a series on just educational videos. Uh, I'm going to have a series on breaking down patterns on the patterns that I look for and on what I look for in a chart 
before I even take a swing trade on it, uh, because I've been also been swing trading quite a bit, uh, pretty successful. Um, and the other thing is I'm going to also focus on what I love to do because I figured if I'm going to have a YouTube channel in order to put good content, that's truth. That is this real content is basically the stuff that I enjoy doing day to day, which is riding my motorcycle. Um, I love cars. I've never mentioned that in the past, but I love cars. So I'm going to be taking a page out of the goon squad. If you guys don't know who they are, look them up goon squad they buy cars that are totaled wrecked and they fix them up and i freaking love that i've been binge watching all of their stuff so that's what i'm going to be doing too i'm going to be buying wrecked cars fixing them up showing that process and either keeping them selling them i don't know i'll figure out maybe give them away who knows um but yeah so that's the the changes that are going to happen i'm also going to be doing where i'm going to be traveling a lot i've decided that ever since i got that sick i really need a vacation i need, I need to take some time off so I'm going to be doing that as well. I'm going to show traveling where I go, etc. So far, I'm going to be going to Miami, um, Hawaii. Uh, I think Maldives is on there too for this year. And also either Thailand or Vietnam. I would love to go to either one. Maybe a couple of days in, in Japan. Who knows? That'd be, that'd be pretty sweet. Um, but anyway, so yeah, <clears throat> that's the update for the channel. Um, let's go over this trade real quick so I don't take up too much of y'all's time. So as you can see, and let's not focus on the 135. That's actually the swing trade. Um, I, this is on Lyft, by the way, if you guys haven't seen Lyft, Lyft sucks. Um, Lyft has been going down quite a bit. That's not Lyft. That's Spy. This is Lyft. So this is how it was. It opened not too long ago at 88. Since then, it's just been going downhill. Um, anyway, I entered a trade and lift here. No, here. I think here or here. I can't remember. But anyway, I made money from that. And then I got my other buy signal here. Buy, I mean, for the put side. So I entered, I think it was here or here. I can't remember. One of these days. And, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm waiting for it to go down um, a little f more before I, I, I close it. I might close it tomorrow morning because it may s look like it's going to either – there's a triangle here in case you guys didn't know that. But it may either break or, yeah, I don't like to hold whatever is getting close tight here. I'd rather uh, wait for either the breakout on the bottom or the top and then enter. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's, that's what that is. The 150 is this trade on SPY. Um, this was the puts chart. Right here, puts, strike 291.5, and it expired on the 26th uh, tomorrow. So as you can see, this is the five-minute chart. This is the one-minute chart. One minute, five minute, right there. Um, I got my buy signal right at the start. As soon as it opened, I got the buy signal. I jumped in. I literally put just real quick, three, sec three seconds, just real quick. I did three cents above my entry which was 79 and it filled it almost i don't even know if it took a minute but here it is i bought in at 76 here it is 76 and then literally it looks like maybe not even a minute a few seconds and then it sold me out it, it got me out right here at 79 um i definitely left a lot on the table as you can see the high was like 98 for this part here, I probably would have been out just from looking at this red candle. Um, but yeah, so, but as soon as I, I mean, I, I did that just, just to see, I got in, out, and then by that time I was already done, I had actually left the house. Um, so I wouldn't even be able to trade this. Um, yeah, but as you can see, look at that. It just, puts were just dominating until pretty much, what is that? Like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 almost like an hour and so and i don't know how many minutes but yeah they were just going and then of course they, they died off but that could have been at least maybe a 700 hundred dollar move if i would have kept it here maybe 400 anyway but yeah so that was a quick little trade i did on the spy nothing uh nothing huge uh, i will get i will get back to trading you know those thousand dollar days but 
before I do that, I am actually going to focus more on the uh, $2,500 challenge because I really want to make that up to 25k by the end of this year at the very least. Um, getting sick kind of set me back quite a bit, but I did trade it every once in a while. So right now it's sitting at 2800 almost 2900 uh, That's it. Again, thank y'all so much. Follow, like, all that good stuff. Hit me up on the social medias. Join the Discord channel. We've been getting a lot of great traders joining in and uh, asking great questions. We try and help them so much. Well, as much as we can. Um, oh, one other thing. Since I'm going to be traveling a lot, I need you to give me an opinion in the comment section. If you can leave a comment saying or telling me actually what what what, uh, what trade station or what um, laptop or whatever that I should buy. I'm looking for something that I could also hook up monitors to. So there are these portable monitors from Asus. Uh, I think they're actually get their power via USB. So I need whatever system it is to to have at least two USB ports so that I can hook up those monitors because I really need three monitors to trade effectively. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think would be a good laptop or I don't know, whatever notebook, whatever it is. Um, it needs to be good. It needs to be fast. Um, but anyway, leave a comment. Thank you so much. See you all tomorrow.